The first and most important step has been achieved. We created the Federal Reserve, a central bank. Now we can tax. And with this power of taxation, we can work to control as much of Dreamland as we can drive our way into. Right, but the Fannie Mac situation has put a bad taste in Dreamlandian's mouth. They could attack us, and we don't have enough control yet to hold out against a revolution. I know, but I have an idea. You have an idea? Yes, I do. I was thinking about castles. Castles? Yes, castles. In castles, they would carve out little holes on the side. These holes would be overlooking places that were very hard to attack from, like a ravine or from on top of a hill. That way, when someone tried to break into the castle, they would have to attack from on top of a hill. Why not just make no holes in the castle? Because then people trying to break into the castle would just lob rocks at the side of the walls until the walls came down. But if you have a hole already carved out, the invader will attack where the hole is, and then he'll get slaughtered. So the hole tricks people into not just breaking down the wall because they think there's already a way to get in, when really it's a trap. Yes. So what does that have to do with our situation? We need to build a hole in our castle. We need to build a hole in our government, a hole called elections. We will let people vote on how we use the dogs on them. One dog will attack Dreamlandians and force them to give us acorn notes for the poor. Another dog will attack Dreamlandians and force them to give us acorn notes for protection. Do they really think we protect them or help the poor? Their faith in us is shaking, but if we act swiftly, we can get them to believe that the problem isn't us, but each other, and then we can deepen our power. Right now, we have people who favor protection, but not charity. We'll put them on the right and others who favor charity but not protection so much. We'll put them on the left. And these will be the groups we pit against each other. And with these elections, they will argue and fight each other, thinking that the other side is the problem, thinking that they can change what happens by getting a majority and controlling the dogs. Yes, it provides an opening for them to drive us out. It provides a hole in our castle, a hole in our government. But if we set up the elections in the right way, they will waste themselves trying to get into the hole instead of breaking down our walls which, if they checked, are actually rather thin. So, the more we can focus them on elections, the more secure we will be. Yes. And how do people who try to exploit others without having elections, how do they do? They get destroyed. Even dictators know that they have to have elections because it gets people to waste energy on something that is actually rigged. This is really sad. And to think they could be spending their time and energy actually helping the poor and actually making jobs for them. Yes, but where would we be? Yeah, I know. I'm just starting to lose my stomach for this. We're just getting started. Wait a minute. How did we create Fanny Mac if we didn't even have...